As part of the power station demolition, we have a number of bridges to lift off the river air. We have fairly significant infrastructure, overhead power lines, buried cables. On one of the bridges, we have a live railway line. So we have to take account of all of the constraints that are facing us. One of the things we do is comparative risk assessment of the safest way of removing the bridge. Safety is key to Keltbray and all our works were undertaken in accordance with the design and the method statements and the risk assessment that we put together. Before we carried out any work we had to obtain a permit from the Environment Agency and Canal and River Trust. As part of that permit we had to submit method statements, risk assessments and a design of how we were going to carry out the lift. When we look then at the weight of the bridge and the reach that the crane has to go, but to get a 90 ton lift we require a crane the size we had because it was reaching at a significant distance. For that reason we had to significantly increase the permissible bearing pressure on the ground and that required us designing a concrete pad which gave us a very strong, very stable and guaranteeable uh, lifting platform. The concrete we needed to use had to be very, very strong and we also needed it to become very strong very quickly. So we went for the metal fibre reinforced concrete purely and simply because traditional rebar uh, wouldn't have given us the internal strength that we needed. The slump test you take out of the lorry as it arrives and that's a test to pr demonstrate that the concrete's come up to working strength. We had to test that that platform was um, capable of taking the load from the crane. Plate bearing testing which establishes the CBR test or the California bearing ratio and that demonstrates that the, the ground's strong enough to take the weight of the crane. So we use a specialist crane hire company because they are bespoke cranes world X. We have a 200 ton crane comes in a low loader and that has its own separate tracks and then they put the tracks on that crane and then they put the jib on it and that's set up and then they bring the larger crane in and the smaller crane then builds the larger crane. One of the other jobs that the smaller crane had to do was take a conveyor section down. The reason why that needed to cut down is because that's the only place that we could lay out the jib to build a bigger crane. First thing we did is get the lifting team to sling the bridge, make sure that it were ready to lift. We got all the all the slings and the chains in place. Then we got the burners round. We made them scaffold accesses and cherry picker accesses to get to the bolts. And then literally all we did is shim underneath the existing plate, blew the bolts, make sure there were an air gap so when we went for the lift we knew that it would cut clear and it would lift straight off. Lifting operations on the day are all about teamwork. We need confidence in each other's abilities. We need an appointed person to control the lift and once the lift has been successfully achieved we need operatives on site that can direct where we're going to put the bridge down. One of the main things that we do not want is anyone standing under a lift. So working under suspended loads is one of the main aspects that drive safety in the industry. We have to be ingenious in the way in which we can operate that without working under the load. The bridge was lifted in the time frame that we allowed. All went pretty much to plan and very, very smoothly. It was sheared up and, and removed off site the day after. So we were all very pleased with the result. Excellent result. Engineering solutions all worked as they were designed to do so. The lift itself was perfect. So the lift has been successfully achieved, the job went well.